Good morning, Cowboy Jim, up here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. I um, am glued, I guess, to the uh, television in terms of the news and in terms of uh, the Ukrainian people and and uh, reflecting well, I, th I think well, in terms of uh, Soviet Russia and... Uh, you know, I come from a perspective by choice of uh, believing in a creator, uh, and not from this planetary system, but but a creator none, nonetheless. And um, I've spent um, 60 plus years uh, perusing, pondering, uh, trying to absorb as much information out of history, uh, science, Mathematics, I love mathematics. Um, scripture, Old, New Testament, all that sort of stuff. And I, I've, I've spent many years um, trying to um, understand um, abused people, how they acclimate to um, just living. Uh, I've spent too much time, but but I, I believe it was well invested in studying abusers. Uh, um, and I, I, I encourage people to pray to their uh, God, the God that they have chosen. Um, some of my Christian friends would be a little disenchanted with me there, but listen... Um, when a person's back is against the wall, uh, when their child is being killed, their children, their uh, spouses, their parents, their, their belief system, uh, many people throughout the world believe in good, in uh, the equity of doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. But we are confronted by, uh, um, dare I say it, uh, yeah, I do, evil. I well remember talking to a young man. I spent three days with him, and I, I said, is there anything that I can say that would cause you to consider that there could possibly be uh, a God. He said, no. And I said, well, that is very interesting. And uh, I said, so you don't believe in God? He said, not at all. I said, cool. I said, do you believe in evil? I said, have you seen evil? Oh, and he was stopped short, and he, such a good kid. First name Lyle, happened in Airdrie, Alberta, 1980, perhaps. I think 80, 79 or 80. And um, I had asked him, I said, do you, do you know one single person who claims to be a Christian who may well be. He said, no, not one. We made really good eye contact. And and he was including me in the, and, and that's okay, because that was his opinion. Um, and then he, he stopped. He said, yes, yes, I know one person in the world who believes in God, has accepted his son, and lives it out every day. And I said, I said, Lyle, I said, <clears throat> who is that? And he said, that's my brother in Red Deer. He's a preacher. And so I, I struggled for three days to try to understand what could God give me that I may be able to touch that young man's heart. 
I stained and lacquered woodwork. Lyle was a painter. He was uh, doing wallpaper and uh, biggest house of my history, um, probably the biggest one of his. And, uh, and then it came to me one day, I said, as I have kind of hinted at already, I said, so you don't believe in God at all because you have not seen a singular Christian? He said, well, my brother, it's all. And I said, well, have you ever occasioned to see evil? He said, yes. He said, Jim, I was stoned. I, I, I was laying on the floor of a laundromat in uh, New York. And a street person came in and knelt beside me. He said, I was so stoned, I was aware, but I couldn't move. I was actually paralyzed. He said, the drugs uh, were insidious. And, and he said, that street person told him what he was going to do to my friend Lyle. And uh, Lyle said, I looked into his eyes and I saw pure, unadulterated, pure evil. I said, Lyle, uh, we have things in this world, as you know, that are opposite love, hate, peace, war, uh, good, evil. I said, you just validated the very existence of good by delineating the very uh, reality of evil. Yeah, he, 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 he was a good kid, like I might have been a couple of years older than him. Uh, ten years later, he called me and he said, Jim, this is Lyle. And I said, Lyle? He said, yeah. I said, I haven't seen you uh, or talked to you for a long time. He said, no, not since Airdrie. He said, you know, I'm just calling you to tell you that I got my heart right with God. I said, thank you, Lyle. And he said he had found himself a wife and a good lady. Here, you and I, we are in a quandary sometimes. Do we believe in good? Do we believe in evil? Well, we try to believe in good because we would rather be optimistic than pessimistic and that's the way it is and uh, I don't need now to reach very far back into my memory to find an example of uh, evil uh, to share with you because you're watching evil right now you're watching world leaders, um, Justin Trudeau, uh, justify his appreciation of the Communist Chinese Party. You have Xi Jinping, uh, who is watching the weakness of Biden and assessing, ascertaining, can he step into the gap after Putin does what he is doing and and Xi Jinping or whatever, the guy who was so glad about COVID. But anyways, because he just wants to take over Taiwan. He wants to take over the South China Seas. He wants to be the world leader. But you and I, we... Uh, we try to assess uh, from the perspective of how 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 is this happening? Like, is there are there are there people in the world who don't care that a baby dies, that mamas, mothers, grandmothers, baby girl children are killed, are going to be killed. And, and an average Canadian would voluntarily uh, stand in front of a wall 
to be executed if they had ever in their life ever said their favorite country in the world is China. Communist Chinese China. Communist. Or, or is there anyone in their right mind today who would say their hero is Putin and his total disregard of human life is coincidental with his goals, his aims, uh, our prime minister spoke those words about his favorite country in the world. Chinese Communist Party. There, there is um, a thing spoken of in scripture, and it says during the end times, uh, the last days, uh, the unction of the Holy Spirit will be lifted up and taken away uh, from mankind. That God's gift to mankind through Jesus Christ, the, the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit settled upon the disciples and, and, and God in the person of the Holy Spirit reached down and touched hearts here. The day is coming when that Spirit from God of righteousness, of conviction, of God trying to draw you unto a relationship with him through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's coming to an end. I don't know when. I don't know. Jesus, I'm pretty sure, does not know. God knows. But the time is coming when the world as we know it will be totally changed and we have yet time time to repent, time to say, God, forgive me, help me to be what you want me to be. I am so sorry for having lived my, my life outside of your will. There's a thing in the back of my mind, and it is so critical, so important. And it is this, don't you be hard on the Russian army. Don't you dare think they are inept. Don't you dare allow yourself to be deceived into thinking that these people can't fight at night. That's not true. I have had the privilege of meeting some Russian people, Ukrainian people, European people. My ancestors came from Ireland. Trust me, we know how to fight. Putin knows how to fight. He knows how to kill indiscriminately. He knows how to push a button. He could care less. They say he's changed. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. But I, I want you to know something. There are Russian army people who are anti-Putin in this instance, and anti-war, and anti-indiscriminate killing of their fellow countrymen, really fellow countrymen. The Ukrainian people don't you be hard on those Russians. Don't you think the leaders of the Russian army are that stupid that they would run out of bloody fuel? They say there are Russian soldiers who are actually puncturing the fuel tanks on their trucks so that they will run out of fuel. There are uh, apparently innumerable Russian soldiers, army, and they're heading towards Kiev. But they're not going very fast because they're running out of fuel. 
Think about that, people. You're not stupid. Think about that. Think about that. You, no one goes to war without having it well planned out, unless they're totally reactionary. Russians aren't reactionary. Russians are deep-seated planners. And in spite of everything that Biden has done and will do and continue to do, he will never represent anything other than abject weakness. Because if this is close to end times, then Satan, Antichrist, alive and well, God is too. God has won, Satan has lost, Antichrist, they are going to do, Satan, Antichrist are going to do everything in their power to fight against God, against Israel, isn't it interesting? Uh, tribute to the Jewish people, those lost in the Second World War, 1941, in Kiev, blown all to hell by a, a missile, missiles of that stature. They don't miss much. Intentional? Sure as hell was. Jewish people are referred to as being God's children. I believe they are. I've prayed for Jewish people since I was a child. My mom taught me. She said, you honor Jerusalem. You honor Jewish people and God will bless you. Most people nowadays don't believe in God. They don't give a rat's ass and it doesn't matter because it's their freedom of choice. But listen, in your freedom of choice, do not pick on Russian soldiers. They're doing everything in their power to sabotage the hate, the indiscriminate killing of Ukrainians and anyone else who gets in Putin's way. So listen, if the Russian army, the Russian army that are intent on winning, ever fight against uh, the rest of us here on earth, we'll have our hands full. But right now, the Russian army are in rebellion against Putin. I don't know if he's going to last. If he does, then we're screwed. If they kick him out of power, we will have a number of years wherein I can reintroduce myself to that lady and fall madly in love and all that stuff. Well, I haven't fallen out of love. By myself, my little 1997 Corvette. Get a job. Gee whiz, life goes on. But listen, if Putin marches across the Ukraine, and Putin walks across the NATO countries. We're screwed, in a sense, but we are. Because in that time frame of God's return in the person of Jesus Christ is much diminished. So we are living in such exciting times. It's astounding. It truly is. If you're scared, suck it up. Ask God to forgive you. Accept that Jesus Christ truly is God's son. He suffered, bled, and died on the cross for you. Suck it up for crying out loud. You're worried. There are people in the Ukraine. I, 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 I think of Elena... Ignis or whatever, holding a little five-month-old baby with a breathing disorder. Oh, geez, my whole family have breathing disorders. I'm the only one that doesn't. Don't know why that is. But Putin could take over the rest of Europe, 
and then head straight south to Israel, the Valley of Megiddo, the Battle of Armageddon, China, Xi Jinping, well, he, I hope you understand the abject, absolute contempt that I hold Justin Trudeau in for the sick things he said about our Canadian truckers and our Canadian people and about China, his favorite country in the world. What an abject idiot. Biden, he's just too old. Children, I'm 72. Biden's too old. He's lost it. Pray. 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 Pray.